I'm Ross Bowman, I'm number one mechanic on car 23. I'm in charge of making sure the car is up to the latest um, specification from the Nissan factory team, liaising with the engineers and the other mechanics. We arrive typically on a Wednesday or a Thursday to the track, so we set up all the garages, set up the lorries, we'll do our last minute checks. Practice day is about getting the drivers in the car, seeing how they feel with the car. We rehearse everything. Basically, we have to cover everything that's potentially going to happen during qualifying or during the race. Everybody in the team needs to know what's happening, just so we're ready for any scenario. When we push the cars to the grid, it's a great feeling because you know everybody's done the best they can, and then you're handing it over to the drivers to hopefully get us a good result. So here we are at the grid of Monza, um, just doing our final checks. We've done our work for now, but uh, in about an hour's time, uh, that's when we start our job again, is, uh, when we do our first pit stop. For a three hour race, we'll do two pit stops. It's got to be clockwork. Typically, our pit stops take between 20 to 21 and a half seconds. The drivers need to hit the marks every time. If they overshoot by 10, 20 mil, makes such a difference for us because we're not in our natural position, we have to quickly shuffle during the fuel. The most stressful thing about this job is um, if you're having a good result during the race and the race gets taken away from you for some contact through no fault of anybody's other than somebody else's hit our car, that's got to be the worst thing about this job. Big crush. Race is over. Big crush. Throughout the race, you have to think outside the box at a split second because potentially you've only got two minutes if the driver says there's a big problem, we've got two minutes to react, get the spare bits into the garage, prepped. The better the feedback from the driver, the easier it is for me to um, liaise with the other mechanics and the engineers to decide um, quickly what we're going to do. Everybody in the team, you have to treat them like they're part of your family. The whole team has to gel together, because if you don't gel, we can't work. If everybody's reacting the same, thinking the same, it's, it's great for the team because everything happens naturally. The toughest part is when we don't get the result we want. Um, it's not what you see at the track. It's, it's all the preparation before that people don't tend to know about. When we get a good result, it's a great feeling. Um, all the long hours you've done leading up to the race, it's been worth it. It's great for the team morale. Everybody gets up on a high. You go into the next race, everybody's happy. It's a, it's a great feeling.